we saw that there's uh, a major development uh, in the way we build our houses and uh, in the building sector um, that we really didn't like. Welcome everybody to the strategy show, this time also live on Facebook. Let's see if it works. I'm Timo Severino, your host, and this episode is brought to you by the Strategy Sprints. At Strategy Sprints, we do only one thing, strategy in sprints, and strategy means your monthly revenue to have that in a way that is predictable and bringing well-being to you every month in a reliable way. And sprints means doing that with fast execution, short project cycles, and motivated teams. As always, we try to bring you people who lead their field from we can learn something as CEOs. So this time we have the CEO of Bone Wagon. Hi, Teresa. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for the invitation. It's an honor. <laughs> I'm to have you here and to learn from you as the CEO of Bone Wagon. So Teresa Steininger, she founded, she co-founded Bone Wagon and she started it and now it's a full-fledged business and we want to learn everything from her so what did you learn as a ceo but let's start from the very beginning if you tell us uh, what what do you do how did you start uh, well the whole story of wunderkorn started seven years ago and we pretty much started out because uh, we were um, we saw that there's uh, a major developments uh, in the way we build our houses and uh, in the building sector um, that we really didn't like. So housing becomes more and more unaffordable. There are a lot of bad materials being used. It's really expensive. And the houses that we build are very resource intense. And at the same time, um, the way we build our homes has a huge impact on our society and our resource and energy consumption, but also on our uh, social um, lives, uh, moving, energy, etc. So if we start to rethink the way we live, we have a, a very big impact on, on society. And we wanted to show that there are a lot of solutions that, um, that we can use for a new way of living. And to show how it could be or how living of the future could look like, we developed the Wohnwagon, which is a small house that is different so at the first look we will see it's made of wood uh, we just use natural materials it's a very small space so it's really reduced to the essentials um, but the special thing about it is that we uh, put a lot of research and development in building a self-sustained living unit uh, meaning that the house produces everything that you need water electricity heat um, that it produces everything itself so once you build your house, you don't have any more fixed costs. You have your own energy, your own heat. Uh, you can upcycle your water. And um, this is one of the, one of the biggest uh, parts in development that we did. Um, so our, our four core values for building of the future are self-sustained living units, meaning the circular systems, natural building materials with really high quality, that you can't use if you build smaller spaces. And this is the third part. So build small, um, but with, a, with, with great materials. And then integrate the living concepts in a bigger community so that not everyone has its own house, but we integrate it in bigger concepts and try to coach our customers how they can co um, build co-living projects with their family, in their communities. Um, and this way we can essentially reduce uh, the energy uh, consumption of our living units and create really beautiful projects. Beautiful. Do um, you want to make your sales more repeatable and reliable? Do you want to have less volatility and more growth in your revenue per month? At Strategy Sprints, we do only one thing, strategy and sprints. Strategy means having more revenue through a better offer. In sprints means having more energy in your team every week. Check out if your ROI is as high as it is for most service-based and online businesses and startups we work with, which is over 100%. You can see it in just 15 minutes by going to strategysprints.com sales and completing our online exercise to know what your ROI would be with our accelerator program. We are ready to sprint. Are you?
right now we are seeing that the way we organize society is not the right way, right? And many of us have now the opportunity to rethink how they live and how we as a, as a whole world, right, should live and what would be right living. So what I love about your concept of tiny houses is that usually if you have a big house, most of it you are not using, right? It's just dusting and then and you have to heat it. Mm. So in your concept of tiny house, it's really the part that you use. Uh, how did you came up with that? Um, so when my, my co-founder, Christian, he came from, um, from the construction background and he always saw that the people are really building huge houses so hundreds of square meters and then um, they have these big houses and then there is no money left to um, furnish them in a, in a nice way and then they use a really cheap floor and a really cheap couch etc um, and so he came up with this um, idea of hey, wouldn't it be nicer to have a smaller space and this small space in a really high quality and also we started to think about uh, what are the places in your flat or in your home that you really lose, use and where there's really life. So basically it's always the same um, small spaces where you have dinner with your partner, where you chill on the couch with a good book or um, where you cook your dinner and talk with a friend. So these are the places where, you, where there is life and all the rest, you need to build it, you need the energy for it, you need to construct it. But there is, yeah, it's not really used. And so we designed a, a living unit that is really small. It's uh, 33 square meters for two people. Um, but it has everything. It has all these places um, that, yeah, we think you need for a good life. Um, but it's also flexible and modular, so you can... Um, can grow with it. Uh, we have solutions for, for families too, where you have, can adapt it with a, um, with a space for, for your child. So um, it doesn't need to be that small all your life, but I think you can solve a lot of problems with really thinking about what you actually need. So the problem is uh, how to better organize life. And your solution is pretty valuable, very relevant, very responsible even, and very re relevant to our times. So the product is great. So let's go back to how did you test that people would really buy it? When mm -hmm. did you decide to really build it? Did you know that people will buy it? Or how did you test it at the very beginning? Because now you are doing millions per month. But let's think of the first, the first three that you sold. How was that? Mm -hmm. um, that's an interesting question because uh, we really didn't know anything about that at, at the beginning. We just had this gut feeling that this would be a good solution and that we could use it not only as a nice product that we could sell, but that it could also be an inspiration to other people and to take part of the solutions to integrate it in their living concept. So the one we're going to, what I, I need to tell about it as well is it's not like I'm saying, please go live in tiny houses, um, all of you. But it should be more of an inspiration to see what solutions are out there. And we also try to help people integrate the solutions in their living concept. Um, and how we tested it at the beginning is we were really, um, <laughs> I'd say, um, a very, um, our marketing was always a step ahead of our product development. Let's say it like that. So um, we already told a lot about what we wanted to do and how it could look like and had nice pictures of 3D renderings of our product uh, when we at the, at the same time didn't yet have a product. So uh, we did um, that also mainly because our uh, initial investment was a crowd investment. So we had to um, convince uh, more than 100 crowd investors to give us um, uh, their money uh, to be able to build the prototype and uh, this is where we started to communicate a lot about our idea about our values and we got a huge feedback so there were so many people who were um, who responded to this idea of rethinking the way we live of having less um, of being able to breathe uh, I mean it's either the people say okay I will live for rent because for the rest of my life because I don't even want to think about these amount this, these numbers that you need if you want to build a house or they are the others that want to build their own place but they have 
um, they get locked in this huge um, amount of debt that they will have for the rest of their lives, um, which makes a lot of stress. And so there was a lot of relief. There was yeah, a great response from the market. And so before we even had uh, the money ready to build our prototype, we already had the response from the market. That there were a lot of people who would, were willing to buy it. We all know that working in sprints is better, but how do we know what we should work on? You're in luck because we have a 15 minute exercise that will give you complete clarity on where to take your project next. Go to strategysprints.com slash sales to complete our short exercise and meet one-on-one -on -one with an expert sprint coach to identify your number one bottleneck. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that episode of The Strategy Show. Make sure to like this video below and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with every episode of The Strategy Show. Get daily CEO tips from CEOs for CEOs.